Hi everybody, I'm back again with another Chalk Couture video. Um, Sundays are my day off, well Saturdays and Sundays are my day off, so yesterday I ran all my errands, today I'm doing all my chalking, and I've got an event next Saturday I'm trying to make a lot of projects for. So, let me get back to this one. I prepped this board earlier. This is actually an old cabinet door front. You can see on the back an old kitchen cabinet. I gotta take these stickers off. But we took the hardware off and then I painted it with chalk paste. Hey Helena, not chalk, I'm sorry, I painted it with chalk paint, not the Chalkology chalk paste. Then I put stain over it and then I pulled the stain off with the Minwax paste. And now I'm going to chalk on it. I've got this beautiful welcome. And I've used this before you can tell. It's kind of wrinkled a little bit. And what I did was I wrote welcome on the back of it and the top so that I know which direction to put this on. And this is a screen print transfer. I didn't put it on the edges well enough so it got a little bit uh <laughs> I'm gonna use the red actually no Helena I'm not gonna use the red I don't have very much red left at all um I am gonna do one of these in red though because I have about eight more of them in my garage so I will do red um I'm waiting for my order to come in hopefully this week if not this week next week and um, then I'm gonna do a couple of these in red. What I'm gonna do is this really pretty plum because I'm gonna sell this at, hopefully, at uh, my event either this weekend, next weekend, or on December 2nd. And if it doesn't sell, I can put it in my own family room because I've got all grays. So I'll keep it for myself. Anyway, so I don't know if you can see this, but there's this tiny little screen on the back of here, um, or on the front. This is where the paste is gonna go through. We're gonna push it through with a squeegee. So I'm gonna pull this off of the backer, just like that. You wanna make sure with these big ones, when you pull them off, that they don't fold over on themselves because they are sticky. And um, if they fold over on themselves, sometimes they can be really difficult to pull apart without stretching. If you do happen to have one that folds on itself, you can run it under water and sometimes you can loosen the adhesive that way. Um, but you really don't want it to fold over on itself. Okay, so let's, I eyeball everything. So I'm gonna eyeball this and that looks about right. And then you want to smooth it out and make sure that you get all of the air bubbles out. So what I like to use for these large transfers is this super large squeegee with a handle. <clears throat> I love this thing. This was one of my favorite purchases. Um, you just run it across your transfer to get the air bubbles out. See, I got an air bubble right here. We're going to push that out. And it doesn't matter if the bubbles are in this part. Um, what you don't want is your air bubbles in the screen part. If you get an air bubble in the screen, you will have a mess. Your, your paste doesn't adhere right. And um, yeah, you end up with a big mess. So what I'm gonna kinda do is stretch that. I can't like talk and do this at the same time. All right, so I think I got out the air. There's an air bubble there, but it doesn't really matter. There's an air bubble down here. Let's see. I may have to pull it and go this direction. There we go. I think I got the bubble out of the silk screen part. There is a bubble here, but it, it doesn't really matter that it's there. Okay, so that's on straight look straight okay I'm also going to use this big gigantic squeegee 
to pull the paste across this. But what I will do, this is the first time I'm using this one, and I just put the label on it. Um, it comes with a piece of tape on here with the name of the color on the two ounce jar. Um, when you pull the piece of tape off though to break the seal, you lose the color. So what I do is I have a label maker, oops, this beautiful label maker, and I just make a label for it. So that all my jars of paste are labeled. As you can see, we've got red, evergreen. We have, I think, 36 or 38 different colors. Um, and then I'm going to take this off of here. You want to make sure that your paste is the consistency of frosting or uh, Greek yogurt. So I'm going to mix it up with one of these plastic, oops, plastic stirrers that I got from the craft section of Walmart. There's this little mini popsicle sticks. Okay, and then you just mix it. I think this is one of the new reformulated ones. There we go. Looks like a frosting. Almost has a little air in it. Almost like a, yeah, it's like frosting. Looks really good. It almost looks like a grape or a plum kind of a frosting. Okay, and then we're going to just dollop this on like this. And then I'm going to take, I'm going to put some more up here at the beginning because this is where I'm going to start. And then, let's see if you can see this. You just pull it through the screen. I really like this color. Sorry, Helena, I know you wanted red, but I'm really liking this color. <laughs> All right, and then let's see if I can pull this over here so you can see what I'm doing. And you want to get it in the screen, all of the holes of the screen. And then, see, I got a lot, I use a lot of paste. Any excess you put back in the jar. Yeah, I really like this color. And you just pull it across and get rid of the excess. Put it back in the jar. You really don't use much at all, and that two ounce jar is gonna last a really long time. And drum roll, please. Pull it off. Oh, yeah. Like that. Woohoo! Oh, that does. That looks really, really pretty. So there you go. There's my welcome sign on my cabinet door. Distressed cabinet door. Hey, Krista. You're going to have to watch this from the beginning because I just finished. I used my plum paste, my chalkology chalk paste, and an old cabinet door front that I got for a couple dollars at a thrift kind of place and there you have it it is all done and I really like it thanks for watching bye